hi guys in this video i'm going to show you how to create a customized header uh, if your target will be a flat file like whatever we are getting from the source file or the source uh, query uh, that field names if you don't want to uh, see in your target uh, file uh, the you want some different header uh, different uh, header fields uh, so how we can uh, generate uh, those in IAS yes, like customized header I'll show you today basically we can do it in the expression transformation also by renaming the field names which we are getting from the uh, a source uh, those we can create one output variable and uh, that variable we are going to uh, populate in the target uh, as a field name uh, but uh, we have to uh, in uh, exclude that uh, whatever the fields we are getting from uh, source and we are going to include uh, the new fields which we are going to create it in the expression that we are going to send into the target that is very lengthy process uh, so every for every output field you need to create one uh, uh, sorry every uh, uh, every field which you are uh, sending to the target uh, for every field if you want to rename uh, that uh, you have to create uh, one one output uh, port uh, and uh, that is very lengthy process uh, now i'm going to show you very easy manner how we can uh, generate uh, uh, target header customized target header now uh, i'll show you the one example now one scenario i'm taking here uh, my source file is having uh, student information with the header role number uh, student name and class this is my header and these are the three uh, these three fields are there in the my source file and i'm having um, this is the data like uh, class if you see here i have uh, uh, sixth sorry seventh eighth ninth tenth these are the different uh, classes i have uh, those students information i have in this source file but when i am going to create a target uh, i am just uh, going to populate only seventh class uh, student information i want only these three fields information uh, whichever i have highlighted only who are studying uh, seventh class those uh, information only i am going to populate in my target file and with different uh, header you see roll number as uh, i'm going to rename this one as a seventh class roll number because anyhow in the target i'm going to keep only seventh class information so i'm going to uh, uh, keep it like this seventh class roll number and student name i'm going to seven, uh, create as a seventh class student name and the class i'm going to exclude because only seventh class information i'm going to uh, create so this is this column I need to exclude and uh, the th uh, third one and uh, I need to rename the remaining two columns with uh, this this columns right so this is my requirement now uh, I'm going to show you how we can do it but uh, one thing I just want to uh, uh, tell you like who is working with the sales force uh, like if your source will be a, a sales force at the time you will not have an option to alias uh, um, in a select query uh, like field names you cannot alias that uh, because in sales force I think we don't have that option if you use like select uh, field name as uh, alias name it will give uh, error it will not execute um, so at the time we have to do manually in expression level we need to change if you want a header change in the target file or uh, uh, whatever I am going to show you this option you, uh, we can use uh, so please watch till the end this is very easy method you don't need to create anything in the expression level so I am going to create one mapping now So my connection is uh, flat file connection. So here I wanna show you like what is my source file. Uh, this is the source file. What I have explained in the Excel, same source uh, data I'm keeping here as a CSV file. So I'm going to use this file as my source file. So I'm going to select that file. And second, I'm going to close this one. Sometimes it is going to uh, it is not going to show you if you are open that file so this is the one I'm going to use as my source
and I'm going to use filter here to populate the uh, only seventh class information I'm going to add a filter on class so I'm going to use class in string you can see here so I'm going to give seven here in the course because it's a string type and I'm going to save I just want to check like in source we are taking as in uh, CSV or not so delimited is a CSV uh, comma delimited here fire flat file type is delimited and comma and I'm going to take as none a double quotes I'm not giving for a text qualifier like if you are uh, uh, if you are passing a string data type uh, fields so it will give double quotes if you are specifying this here so import row import from row i'm giving one from first row itself uh, it is going to import and data row will be second because first row it will be a header now in target i'm going to create again flat file usually um, it it will be like source will be either it will be a flat file or a database it will work but uh, oracle we can even uh, rename these files uh, a field names uh, uh, with uh, in select a command like by using as a select a field name as uh, alias name like that we can rename the field names but after some time like uh, um, if you are uh, generating some new fields uh, uh, through sequence generator or uh, like some uh, expression transformation if you are creating some, uh, some new fields uh, in other transformation at the time like uh, you uh, whatever we are getting source that is fine but whenever you are creating here those field names also if you want to rename at the target level in target when before passing to the target if you want to rename any field name so this option is very best option and uh, this will be useful uh, for salesforce people like who is working source as a salesforce now i'm going to create uh, operation is insert only so i'm going to select the object now uh, i'm going to create a file So create new at runtime. I'm going to create a static file. So I'm going to give seventh class data. So this is my CSV file. So this is my file name seventh class data dot CSV. I'm going to click OK. Now I'm going to um, whatever uh, coming incoming fields are there those I'm going to exclude one because uh, here uh, the class field uh, this is coming from source right I'm not going to keep in the target so I'm going to exclude this one. So I'm going to add one more action here. So this is for exclude. I'm going to exclude this class field so you will get only two fields. And I'm going to check like in our target advanced options uh, delimiter is uh, flat file only flat file uh, delimited only and delimiter is comma and here i'm going to give none because uh, text call where i don't want to keep it in double quotes and everything is fine i'm just going to save this i'm going to run now
so see here only three records came because we have only three call three records with the seventh class only this three records from source uh, this one one three one four one five now we'll see in the data if this is the target file with the seventh seventh class data so here you can see roll number student name only one field two fields we got because we excluded class yeah the same name whatever we are getting from the source that same header field we are getting like roll number and student name now now i want different header i don't want this two as i told i want like this seventh class roll number seventh class student name so at the time what we have to do so go to map uh, mapping three here go to mapping three so here go to target advanced here you can see output field names is their header options as output field names so whatever coming from this filter before transformation of this target whatever the transformation will be will be there uh, whatever the fields in the transformation those field names is going to populate in the target if you give this option now i'm going to uh, use use header command output this option i'm going to use so whatever the command here we are going to give that is going to take as an header so i'm going to use echo you know right echo so it's like a print in the linux or unix so i'm going to use echo command here to print my header so what uh, you want um, I'm going to keep these field name, these names only. So seventh class roll number. First field is seventh class roll number, and uh, my second field is uh, seventh class student name. So uh, comma, and I'm giving this one. Seventh class student name. So everything is right. Yes. Echo space my field names whatever I want to populate that header name. I'm giving here it commas in commas. Now I'm going to save. Now I'm going to run one more time. One second, I forgot. Uh, I need to close this one because it will fail. If you open target file or source file, zero records will come. It will fail. But I already triggered. Let's see. Yes, it it succeeded. You see the data got populated. Um, yes, you can see here uh, seventh class roll number, seventh class student name, same whatever uh, you want, same header is customer header is populated here. So like this you can do it. It's very easy. And one more thing I want to show you, uh, like this uh, we have header option. Uh, whatever we have whatever we have done that is for header right so same thing we have for footer also if you want to give footer command then you can give it here so like this it will work uh, so if you want to change footer footer then you can give here if you want to print something in the footer yeah thanks for watching this video and if anybody is not subscribed my channel subscribe for more updates and more videos and